Yo, 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 what's good? It's your boy JB Trap House Boxing, man. I'm back again with another video. You know, um, shout out to the whole LDBC, man. Well, it looks like Ricky Hatton has captured him a heavyweight champion by the name of Nathan, Nathan Gorman. You know, Big Nate Gorman. He's a, another gypsy, big gypsy. Um, you know, he just spanked and ran through... Um, Muhammad Salty, you know, two undefeated fighters. I think Nate Gorman was 10 and 0 with what eight or nine knockouts, and um, uh, Muhammad Salty was, I think he was 13 and 0 with eight or nine or 10. Now, it was something like that. It was both undefeated fighters. And um, Nathan Gorman, man, I mean, he just came in and just had his way pretty much the whole. Fight. I think it, the fight only lasted, what, a few rounds. I don't even think it went five rounds, to be honest with you. Um, you know, Muhammad Soapy never gave uh, Gorman nothing to really think about. You know, Gorman just ran through him, just came through, leading with left hooks, you know, just putting the pressure on him, being more physical, more aggressive, and just bullying um uh, Muhammad Sophie. Muhammad Sophie was trying to, you know, fight off the back foot, but he wasn't he wasn't effective. He wasn't executing off the back foot at all. You know, uh Nathan Gorman just simply was just walking him down. And the thing is with Gorman, man, Gorman is a cagey uh fighter, man. He's a cagey brawler type guy, you know. Um he's real he's real aggressive, real physical. And um, if you don't have if you don't have the the, the, the skill to to deal with that type of aggression, you're gonna be clueless when you get in there with a guy like that. He's gonna be hard to deal with. You know, uh, some things. <clears throat> excuse me. Some of the things I noticed about Gorman is that uh, he he knows, you know how to. In, in the clinch, he knows how to uh, do little things in the clinch, like put his guys in the headlock. You know, you, he know how to use his weight very good. And I like that about him. The things, you know, that I wonder is, you know, he he uh, he uh wings his hooks. He leads with him. He wings his hooks uh, too wide. And um, when he's hooking, he, he's dropping his hands. You know that the, the hand that's not that he's not hooking with, he he uh, he drop it or he will wing it because he's getting ready to come with the other the other hook next. Say for instance, if he's uh, coming off with the lead left hook, he's he's gonna um, telegraph his right hook right behind it. And um, somebody that's a good counter puncher that know how to tag you in between shots and see where you open at, it can be you know detrimental to him depending on the fighter and. Um, you know, just depend on the fighter, and if they can keep him up off of him, they can catch him with some something that can get his attention. <laughs> but if you don't have anything to get his attention, he's gonna uh, he's gonna just walk you down and and, and beat the life out of you. Uh, I like his power. He got some good power, um, good hand speed. You know, for a big guy. You know, um, defense is okay. You know, he got some, like I said, he's only 10, 11 fights in now. So he got some more work to do. Um, can't wait to see what's next with Nathan Gorman, man. You know, uh, I like how this heavyweight thing is heating up, man. I like how it's heating up. You got these up-and-coming heavyweights that's, that's doing their thing, man. Shout out to y'all. Shout out to Nathan Gorman, Ricky Hatton for the uh, good performance tonight. And, uh... Can't wait to see what's next for Nathan Gorman, man. But it's your boy JB Trap House Boxing, man. Shout out to the LDBC. I'm gone.